Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to use self-myofascial release for the latissimus dorsi. Remember the lat is a powerful propulsive muscle. It's part of the um, posterior oblique sling. So it connects the right hemisphere, if I was isolating the lat on the right, with the glute on the contralateral side. And we use it for propulsion so that we can move our body weight forward. So it's a pretty powerful muscle. It's also partially stabilizer in that it extends the spine, laterally flexes the spine, but it also, um, most people know it as, again, an arm extensor. So you use it for rows, for pull-ups, for any kind of pulling motion. It draws the arm back and internally rotates it. So again, this can be adaptively short, and we would use the muscle or the foam roller to help to lengthen it, inhibit it, and break down some of these scaffolding proteins, these fibers, the fascia, so we can get the motion back into the arm and the hip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay on this roller on the side, and we're gonna do two techniques, passive inhibition, which is just using pressure to relax the stretch resistance from the nervous system, and then a pin and stretch, otherwise known as an active stretch. We're gonna stretch the tissue through the pressure of the ball or the roller, um, if this is too much pressure, you can do it from the wall. So there's always a way to do that. If you're feeling pressure on the ribs, it's uncomfortable, you can always go back to the wall. So I'm going to lay on my back, basically, kind of at a kitty corner. So my hips are kind of stacked diagonally. And I'm going to start at the mid-back. And again, the, the lat attaches at the pelvis, down at the sacrum, the lumbar, the thorax comes up and around the trunk, around the, underneath the armpit, up to the shoulder, so I can track that path by basically rolling the torso on top of the roller so I can get a lot of surface area covered with this roller which is really nice and what you do is you just kind of palpate it to start looking for any irregular densities or adhesion bundles sometimes some trigger points a lot of times you'll see the trigger point just under the shoulder blade closer to the trunk and once you get into a tender spot what you're going to do is just isolate it so I'm going to sit there putting pressure on the muscle. It's going to compress it between the rib and the, and the roller. And we're just going to isolate that until the nervous system relaxes. Shouldn't take very long as long as you're not putting too much pressure into it. You'll feel it kind of relax and soften. It'll sink in, at which point you can start to stretch the muscle through the pressure. Just make sure that as you stretch, you're going to notice that the nervous system is going to again kick in. So it'll tighten the muscle up. You'll feel it tension underneath of the roller or again it'll stiffen up so the pressure will be again felt again and then you'll feel it soften once you feel it softening again you can continue to move the arm up till you get to the next barrier so it'll stiffen up again wait there wait for the nervous system to calm down and then move through in stages till you get to the next position a couple things you never want to pull the pain you never want to move the joint away from its resting position so I'm not going to shrug my shoulder, I'm not going to hyperflex over on my spine. Those things you want to avoid. You don't want to create any numbness or tingling. So if you feel any of that stuff, normally it's too much pressure. If you have questions on any of that or you need some more guidance, reach out at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. But once again, this would be a passive to active self myofascial release using a foam roller on your latissimus dorsi.